Hello friends, this video on electricity part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 6 before going ahead with part 7. So with this we understand, we have a better understanding of Ohm's law. Let us now talk a bit about electric circuits. Because in this lesson, I will tell you how do we draw electric circuits. There are certain conventions which we follow to represent the different electronic elements in a circuit. Now, how do we represent an electric circuit? An electric circuit is represented by a circuit diagram. Like for example, when we were um, talk, when we were going through the lesson on light, when we were studying about reflection, refraction and image formation, we were representing the image formation with the help of ray diagrams. Similarly, we will represent electric circuits with the help of circuit diagrams. Now, how do we draw circuit diagrams? Circuit diagram is drawn using the conventional symbols of different circuit elements. Because whenever we talk of any electron, any electric circuit, that circuit will have several elements, right? That circuit will have resistors, it can have inductors, it will have batteries, it will have wires, it will have switch. It will have voltmeter, it will have a meter. So there are so many things that will be present in a circuit. So how do I represent all those things? So there are some conventional symbols which are used for each of the circuit elements. So now I will tell you about all such symbols. So generally whenever we want to represent a wire in a circuit, how do we represent? We represent it, we represent it by a straight line. Suppose if I want to represent a cell, we re present it in this way. So this represents the positive terminal and this represents the negative terminal. Now let us suppose if I want to represent a battery or a group of cells. In that case we can represent it like this. So this bigger one is the positive terminal, smaller one is the negative terminal. So this is how we represent a battery or a group of cells. How do I represent a switch or a key? A key or a switch. It is sometimes known as key, sometimes known as switch. It is represented as this. So when it is represented like this, that means the key is open or the switch is open. So that means the switch is off. Sometimes the key is also represented like this in a circuit. So both of them mean the same thing. That means no current flows in the circuit. The switch is off. Now if you want to represent a key or a switch which is closed, then you represent it with a dot. And this one you represent like this. That means the key is closed. You have pressed it. That is what it means. Right? So this means the switch is off. This means the switch is on. How do I represent resistance? Resistance is represented like this. Now it is represented like this if the resistance has a fixed value. I mean if I know that okay the resistance of this object is 2 ohms. The resistance of this object is 5 ohms. If it is of fixed value then it is represented like this. But if you want to represent a variable resistance. Now what do I mean by variable resistance? Sometimes I want to um, keep a variable resistance so that during my experiment or during um, during the operation of the circuit the resistance should be able to change its value on its own that kind of resistance is known as a variable resistance or a rheostat and that is represented like this so this represents a variable resistance so that this resistance can change its value depending upon the requirements of the circuit now how do I represent an ammeter? What is an ammeter? It is an instrument which is used to measure current in a circuit. Like how we have voltmeter to represent to measure voltage or potential difference. So this is denoted by A. So this is how we represent ammeter. Similarly, we represent a voltmeter. In that case, we will have V to represent voltmeter. Now, how do we represent wires which are joined? 
that is suppose there is one wire going like this there is another wire going like this but these two wires are joined that means this wire is joined to this wire this is joined to this this is joined to this this is how we represent but if i want to represent that wires are crossing each other without joining wires cross without joining how do we represent that that is represented in this way that means this is one wire and this is another wire but these two wires are not connected so that this is how it is represented but in this case it means that this wire and this wire are joined at this point so when we draw circuit diagrams all these things make difference right because looking at the circuit diagram sometimes you first draw the circuit diagrams and then you actually make the circuit in your lab right so now how does a circuit look like taking into consideration all the circuit elements let us suppose if i have a circuit where i have a switch i have a battery i have a resistance and then i have a bulb which is connected to the circuit so how do we draw that circuit first of all i have a battery or a cell this is positive this is negative this is connected to a resistance which in turn is connected to a bulb and then there is a switch in this circuit so this resistance is of resistance r this is a battery which can produce a potential difference of v volts and this is a key as long as the key is open there will be no current flowing in the circuit so the bulb will not glow now as soon as you close the switch as soon as you switch it on what happens the bulb starts glowing right so this is how we draw circuits with the help of these uh, conventional symbols of circuit thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again